Virgos. Welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Good to be back, you guys. Um, if you're new, please click like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Look, you've got the dating card, Virgo. How you guys doing? Are you out dating? Are you meeting people? What's going on? Wining and dining? A short-term little thing okay like obviously we're getting right into this reading here virgo okay looks like virgo no more being this wallflower <laughs> i mean we're getting right into it for i feel like the end of february going i mean there's only like a week left basically um going into march yeah it looks like you're you know wallflower limited potential shy or withholding it looks like you're going to put yourself out there short-term dating that kind of thing nothing serious it looks like just getting yourself out there um going on some dates whether maybe if you're up in the northern hemisphere we'll start getting warmer soon life is coming back whining dining romance okay so i definitely feel like you're going to be connecting with someone going into the month of march okay it's not going to be a long-term kind of thing it looks like just some dates simple having fun nothing too serious some of you are going to be connecting with a very mature woman okay socialite connector high society uh could be a social networking type of a person some of you are going this might be you as well just depends but yeah it looks like virgo i mean come on maybe some of you look i don't know what you do virgo if you're if especially okay male or female energy like what happened would you do wait am i holding this right the way i'm seeing it goodness i've got like slippery fingers look virgo was like i used to be this now i'm this okay you're really getting yourself together it looks like an upgrade or you're up like a like a <laughs> what's the word i'm looking for like an upgrade of some sort you're upgrading yourself and putting yourself back out there, I guess, on the market, maybe, or just getting yourself back into the dating pool, that kind of thing. I like it, Virgo. I like it. Doing stuff, working on self, making your life better. I don't feel like, okay, yeah, like working on yourself. I love it. I don't really feel like you, um, you might have a date with someone that you work with or a date from like somebody in the workplace okay i don't really feel like you are trying to it doesn't look here like with these cards that you're trying to get into anything serious i feel like you're just i don't know dipping your toe in the water a little bit seeing what's going on what's going out there you're you're no longer sitting on the sideline kind of watching other people be happy and live their lives and social endeavors or dating and things like that it looks more like you know looks like you're getting yourself back out there okay so that's good I, and it, so it's a decision some of you might already be doing this all right let me see what else shows up here what else does virgo need to know by the way these are amira's love oracle cards oh i don't really care siri hold on siri's talking to me she's like i'm not sure i understand okay well i'm trying to explain it to you so chill out all right, Ice Queen. Some of you might be Ice Queen, Ice King, might be divorced. Maybe you're a mother or a grandmother. Okay. Um, definitely using your discernment, being more mature with decisions that you're making. Wow. <laughs> Here's that Karma card. I don't know if you guys listened to the Karma Karma reading that I recently did. I'll post the link in the description box below. But um, yeah, it looks like, okay, some of you have a super toxic story, and um, but you have new opportunities coming. Look at the doors are opening here. Opportunity. Um, good stuff coming in. Some of you, maybe you were connected to someone who is an ice queen or an ice king. It's just emotionally unavailable. Um, some it could have been a divorcee or a father or um, a mother figure like i said there's this i feel like there was coldness some of you have, are being cold to another person or left somebody out in the cold or somebody left you out in the cold and you said hmm, okay well it's got to be warm somewhere else so let me take a trip let me see what else is coming up here for you virgo okay wow okay some of you might be doing online dating texting and phone calls okay you could be talking to somebody right now online or connecting through um, some type of maybe it's a dating app or a virtual 
I don't know, what, texting. It's just texting or phone calls, okay, online. Um, you're definitely going to be receiving some messages for sure. Could For some of you, it could be uh, coming from an air sign, okay? I do feel that energy. Let me see what else. I love these cards. Yeah, I'm going to get into the rest of the reading. I just wanted to see what messages are coming out here. Okay. You've got gifts, surprises, presents, openings, and you have home, real estate, property, or residence. So somebody's buying you a house. I mean, okay, maybe you're going to buy a house sometime in March. Um, or you get, somebody's getting, um, just moved into the home and they're getting gifts for their home. Like a home, 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 war, housewarming kind of thing. Um, there might be a party. Somebody else that comes. Oh, okay. Some of you do receive like a surprise gift as well. In March, you're getting some kind of surprise gift to your home. You know, like somebody buys you something, has it delivered as well. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you also could be getting keys to a home or keys to a property. Oh, wow, Virgo. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Hold on. And I also, yeah, they're just telling me, like, yeah, there's a delivery. I see a delivery person to dropping something off. Some of you come home from work or you, you, you come home or maybe you go on your desk or at work or something if you work from home. Yeah, there's a gift at the door. There's somebody leaves you like a little gift or a present. I don't know if it's romantic or not. I, it could be, but for some, it's just a gift or you have somebody delivers flowers. Maybe you send them to somebody as well, but there's like a, there's a delivery. Okay. I love this. Like, I like this energy. It looks very positive going forward here. Okay. You're definitely coming out of some kind of shell. Okay. Let me see what other messages there are. Okay. So you have the seven of swords. All right. So there's definitely going to be like you're strategizing. You're making some kind of moves here in March. Um, let me see what else. Okay. Well, the tower. Okay. Yeah. Some of you are avoiding disaster. You're running away from a disastrous situation in March. Definitely. Um, the tower is Mars energy could be Aries or Scorpio energy, but yeah, you're avoiding a huge disaster. You get out. I'm just hearing dodging a bullet. You get out right in the nick of time and that I'm using that not literally, but figuratively. Okay. Some of you, yep, there's your sign. Some of you out in the nick of time. Okay. So, mm, eight of swords in the reverse. Okay. And the three of wands upright. You know what? Um, this is definitely um, a release that's happening here. There's new hope. You're, there's so much escapism, liberation, and freedom. And having the ability to kind of be like, well, what's it, what else is out there? What else is out there? Virgo, what did you do? Like you either have already done this or you're doing this where you're getting out of something. I see you freeing, becoming free or freeing yourself to, and since I do love readings, there is an energy of like having your options open and being able to pick and choose in March. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The sun is definitely coming up for you here. Um, you're in like this very transitional period here. You're in a very transitional period. You're not exactly, you know, things have not peaked yet. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands in the reverse. There's a little bit of delay until you get to your full, um, until you until the opportunity comes in fully. But I, it feels like some of you are just kind of starting. You're just starting stuff here. You're just preparing, getting ready, getting like you're just beginning. Okay, let me see. Tell me about, okay, you've got somebody perhaps right now who's going to be coming out into the open wanting to connect with you, okay? You might already know this person. They could be a friend, but I definitely feel like somebody's coming out of the woodwork here um, to express that either they want to date you or they want to connect with you, okay? I feel like this person, if you knew them before, there was kind of this energy of like, uh, they didn't really show or express how they feel, 
okay um i don't know that you dated this person before you might have it's hard to say but i definitely feel like there's a healing happening here okay yeah there was a lot of weakness this person is weak for you oh my gosh virgo this person is showing up as a cancer and they are like weak at the knees for you and i feel like in march either you know them or you don't and you will meet them they they're going to tell you like you like you make them nervous or you make them feel um like they're going to confess that's the high priestess in the reverse makes me feel like it's a confession of <laughs> like a weakness like i like it's weird i don't know if it's it sounds almost like a like a one-liner like a line like oh, i'm weak for you or something weird like that well it's not weird but it's just specific it's so specific um uh i'm hearing uh, I, I, I always wanted to tell you i'm hearing i wanted to tell you um and i kept shying away or i kept sabotaging the opportunity would come and i'd run away i feel like you and this person connect as like like platonic in a platonic way um so if you if you know them you connect in a platonic way with this person some of you have already in the month of february but this too can happen um at the end of february but that you connect in a very like platonic way okay either new or old and but there's this confession yeah look at this okay so eight of cups here this is a return so something's coming back around here definitely this is a return of somebody let me see there's pisces there's leo double leo happening here all right um yeah okay so there's the six of cups scorpio energy there i listen virgo i mean it looks to me like you are possibly not connecting with someone right now for the majority of you and what these cards are showing me and the messages that i'm getting is that because there's a lack of connection or communication with someone that maybe you were involved with before whatever the case may be you're basically getting yourself back up on the horse that's what i feel like like you're, you're you're actually climbing the horse right now you're not quite back up on it and as soon as you start like sticking your foot in the the saddle the footing i don't know what they, i don't know anything about saddles and horses but whatever the thing you put your foot in to lift yourself over as soon as you get your foot in the strap there then you've got somebody here um trying to come back in and what are they trying to say to you what are they trying to say to virgo yeah you've got somebody here trying to reconnect with you <laughs> what is this person trying to say to virgo because it feels to me like you, you some of you are like you've escaped and uh, escaped from something and you look back on it and it's like phew, you get some distance and you can see what the connection was and your or what the situation was and you you're just like getting yourself back out there and then you know of course somebody shows up here okay they, what do they want to say to you what they tell you you know i'm so attracted to you chemistry the attraction you feel is mutual okay and this both of these cards are about mutuality so virgo i feel like this person will say something to you like we have such great chemistry um this feels like like reconnecting with a past person may not be the person you ran away from it could be someone from your childhood but there's a recognition and i feel like this person is like you know do you are you attracted to me we used to have such a strong attraction maybe you dated them many moons ago but the chemistry conversation comes up okay and this person brings it up okay oh interference an external party intruding on the relationship this must have been a situation where there was somebody else involved a third party it doesn't have to be infidelity it can be something that maybe you knew about it doesn't have to be um a person it could be other interference like somebody was a workaholic or somebody spent too much time with their friends and had other commitments and put your relationship on the back burner okay so it there could also be um an apology 
in regards or, or just a conversation about that it doesn't have to be an apology for some it might be but a conversation about yeah I let a B C and D get in the way of things my work my financial situation you know um, I really you know that was that was such a pressing thing that I had to deal with and you know whatever the issue or I let another person get in the middle you're my soulmate I love you, I accept you, I respect you, like we're soulmates, this, listen, this two of cups, that's the soulmate card, so some of you have already met your soulmate, but somebody self-sabotaged, that's what that eight of cups in reverse is there, and, or, and, or um, the sun and strength in the reverse, somebody sabotaged the connection, They're, okay, so Virgo, you know, just letting you know, I'm just letting you know, I'm not absolutely not saying you have to go back to somebody if you don't want them back. Okay, but it does, it does kind of is like, well, as soon as you get your foot in the, you know, saddle there and just start hoisting yourself up and living your life, somebody shows up here, somebody's trying to, you know, I don't know, people can sense, sometimes people can sense when somebody moves on. I know you can. When somebody's moved on, you can sense it without even knowing for sure. But that's what I feel like is going on here. Somebody senses that you're moving on or that you're just not interested anymore or you're just not going to chase. You're not going back, you know, oh, and or, you know, you've just, or if it's someone from your way, way, way back in your past that you haven't talked to in forever, somehow they might find out that you're no longer in a relationship or that you're divorced or that you've been divorced or you're you know not partnered or that you're completely single okay so let me see what the love messages are here there we go okay so heart to heart conversation is coming virgo absolutely okay with your soulmate oh my gosh you can't even okay virgo <laughs> March looks pretty exciting. End of February into March. You, you're definitely going to be having a heart to heart with someone who that this person is your soulmate. There's a conversation to talk about stuff. Okay. So I don't know if this is stuff like from a long time ago. I know it's the past. So the depth of the past, I have no way of knowing. For some of you, it's six months ago. For some of you, it's six years ago. For some of you, it's when you were children. Okay. Let me see what your moon pie messages are here. Okay, I'm got a whole bunch popping out. Boom, lightning strikes. There's a tower card. Like, this is a shocking thing that comes out of nowhere. Victory, recognition. See, somebody's paying attention to you. Yeah, remember I was saying, like, you're not quite at the point right now as you're listening and even going into March where you're, like, completely back up on the saddle on the horse. You're not quite there yet, but you're on your way. There's definitely somebody here or other people are going to start paying attention to you, okay? Uh, you know, I don't know what you're doing, but you do have a card here about the fool. Um, for, they're saying, take a risk. What do you have to lose here? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink it. So is that take a risk with this person again, or is this not go back and take a risk um, meeting other people and moving forward? Okay, that entirely is up to you. Okay, you've got anger, no win situation. So some of you are just like, no, it's a no win. There's no sense in going back. And others of you are like, you know, I can't meet anybody. I keep trying. Maybe this person and I keep reconnecting because there's something more here than I realize. You know, it, there's it's a toss up for you, Virgo. Okay, but the struggle is over. I'm going to ask, what should Virgo do about a past person? Okay, what should Virgo do? Okay, the past returns in the reverse. So for some of you, let it go. For some of you, the past returns is in the reverse, which means don't let the past come back. Just shut the door on it because it's like you're not going to be happy with the boredom card. Move forward and um, bring some excitement into your life, okay? For some of you, that's your advice, okay? Okay. What should Virgo do about new? Okay. Hmm. Sweet text message. Okay. What the heck? Highly, highly. Hold on. All right. So you're definitely going to receive um, 
for some an apology or a text message from someone where um, don't rush into this because I feel like you need to reflect. This is definitely an air sign here, okay? Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like don't um, don't rush into this. Take a minute to see what or find out what this like what they're saying. What's the purpose of a sweet text message? I don't I don't know Virgo. I feel like you might not trust some kind of message that comes in from an air sign, okay? Um, Hmm, twin soul in the reverse. I mean, Virgo. That's a karmic. Okay, karmic twin flame. There's a karmic twin flame. I don't know if it's about, if it's the new person. There's a karmic twin flame showing up in your life here. Okay. Um, that indulged a lot in um, maybe cheating and things like that. Some of you do not want that back. Okay. Some of you don't feel safe with that person and you're trying to get yourself in a position where you feel safer in your relationships. Yeah, I, whenever there's two, whenever we split and we've got new and then we've got a past thing, I'm tempted to go off into two separate readings, but I think at this point, I'm not gonna do that because we'll be here for hours. I think if this resonates for you and you wanna know about a past person and, and some guidance, you can get a personal reading with me in regards to that, okay? but. If you're not trying to, you know, navigate a past relationship again and you just want to move forward, I feel like it's just going to take a little bit of time, but you will eventually, you know, I feel like get back up on that horse. They keep telling me <laughs> something here about damn horses, Virgo. What is going on with these horses? Getting back up on the horse in your life. Okay. Yep. Passion insane chemistry liking each other equally and having fun so like i said you will have some dating opportunities coming up where you may accept some dating offers and things like that um it can be a lot of passion chemistry off the charts liking each other very equally and having a good time and i feel like for a lot of you that's the best that you can arrive at in march um just trying to like dip your toe in the water and see what or who's out there, what things are like. Some of you haven't dated in a long time and you're just like, okay, what's the atmosphere out like there? Let me just try to blend back in here and see what's going on. But I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, can you, will you be <laughs> dating someone you work with? I mean, there may be some opportunities. I don't know if you will do that because you know, out here in jersey we don't shit where we eat so you do what you have to do for a go if that's what you want to do right jersey philly we don't shit where we eat let me see but the, the i do feel like someone at your work is interested in you okay okay oh all right you've got virgo you've got girl talk girl talk guy talk time spending with friends being happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. There's a lot of fun happening in, in March, but it looks like you're going to be spending a lot of time with your friends or having a lot of conversation with friends about somebody you start dating or um, it's, it's, like it's like talk about its relationship talk. That's what I feel like, it's relationship talk. Um and some of the guys, the masculines, are going to be speaking with some female friends about some relationship talk or relationship stuff. Let me see. And also, it's, um, I'm seeing, I feel like with girl talk, I do feel like some of you are going to be um, doing a lot of, you know, salon, going to the salon, the spa petties, um, mannies, um, going to the gym together, hanging out, lifting, doing stuff like that, taking walks, really getting out there in your life, um, getting your hair did, did, trimming your beard, doing like something different on the outside as well, going shopping together, a lot of self-care, self-love, going to retreats, um, meditation um, type rituals, getting outside, um, spending time in the sun, of course, with some sunblock and a lovely hat, or um, spending some time near the water. There's a lot of like social activity, but it's all about like healthy choices and your health. And you also have cassette. Okay. Replaying events over in your head. Yeah, there might be a little element there. Um, some of you could be listening to some old 80s music. 
Oh, okay. And thinking about a, a time when either you were proposed to or when you were engaged or um, also thinking about and talking with other people, either about giving a ring to someone or receiving one. Because you know what, Virgo? I see that in your future here. It may not be a March, but I definitely see an engagement happening sometime this year, okay, um, taking place. There's a proposal, someone asking you, um, giving you either a, an engagement ring or a promise ring of some sort, like committing to the relationship or committing to when you guys can actually, you know, be together fully. There's there's like a promise ring or an engagement ring. Yeah. Um, hmm. And some of you, I do see, <laughs> you find a, an engagement. All right. If you lost one, I see you finding it. But you also might come across an engagement ring that belonged to a family member. Okay. Um, or you have your, if you, were, if you were married or engaged before, you come across it, you find it, and there's a lot of reminiscing or something along those lines to do with that. These messages are so specific. So it's not deep and psychological at all. It's very uh, specific and predictive. Let me see what the Chinese, what, I want to look at Virgo. I want to see what the Virgo Chinese sign is here. Not so much another person. Okay, so year of the horse there listen what is with the horses really what is with the ho i just keep seeing horses and saddles i don't even understand i have ridden a horse once i I've, I've never been on a horse ever again in my life i should probably go and ride a horse sometime <laughs> with the way gas prices are maybe maybe it's cheaper to keep a horse than a car but something here with the horses okay so you're the horse you're the pig year of the dragon Year of the horse again. I'm done with these horses. Horses, horses, horses. Year of the tiger. Year of the ox. Year of the rooster. Year of the snake. Rooster again. One more. And year of the rabbit. Okay. So if I didn't call your sign, yeah, don't worry. <sighs> Doesn't necessarily mean it's not your reading. Look, the lovers, this was underneath this deck, just out of the blue. So listen, you are, listen, Virgo, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know if you're going to connect with someone going forward, somebody new, or if you're going to reconcile with someone in the past, that's completely up to you. But I see these opportunities are happening here. And Virgo, I have to tell you, you, I know we see a lot of soulmate energy here in this reading, but it's time for you. I'm not even kidding. It, it is 100% time for you to come into union with your person. That is what the lovers are or is. For some of you, that's a Gemini. It could be a Virgo. But it is time here this year. I feel like this is happening. This is a deep love. This is a deep partnership. This is two people who are completely transparent and open and just absolute complete union, a blessed union. I mean, I just love it. I love this reading. Let me see what your charms are. Okay. So you got a high heel again. I can't. <laughs> you guys, like, this is not... I'm going to show you this last because I just can't. You also have um, a cross for Christianity. You have a cross. Okay. So somebody might be wearing some high heels to uh, church on Sunday, um, you might be very spiritual or Christian or getting back into your Christian Christian spiritual beliefs, connecting with someone who is a Christian as well. Um, sp having that relationship with Jesus, you know, Jesus is not a uh, uh, Jesus is not a religion. It is a personal relationship. And so there might be something going on there. But it, as I was saying, a very spiritual connection. And the high heels, I mean, the heel just itself represents the word to me, healing as well. But I also feel like um, just something to do with high heels. I don't know if you wear them or you like them. I feel like it was in the other reading the other day. But this high heel has like a flower um, on the toe area. So they could be some high heels that have flowers on them. Um, 
you know, I feel like there's like a high heel with a flower on the toe. So if you have a pair of high heels that have either a flower or a bow on the toe, that's specifically a reading. Now this I have to show you because I can't even believe that that this this charm popped out after I just got done saying. Did you see it? It was a horse. I'm not kidding. Virgo, listen to me. I don't know. Let me try to intuit as much as I can. But either you're connecting with someone whose Chinese sign is the year of the horse, or that's you, and this is 100% your reading. But I am not kidding when I tell you that the horse keeps showing up here. Um, horses represent power. They represent speed. They represent nobility, strength. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to call this reading. I don't even know. Give me a caption. Give me a title, please. Something to do with horses because, I mean, and, you know, maybe it's just this reading. Some of you might, this reading's full of horse shit. I don't know. But I'm telling you, there, uh, somebody might own horses or you connect with someone on a farm or you live somewhere where there's like a tremendous amount of horses, that wild horses, maybe something to do with that song, wild horses couldn't drag me away. Um, you, uh, sitting on the lovers, that connection with someone that you have that, understanding with that is coming here it's building the momentum is building just like when a horse starts running then gaining momentum and things are moving I, like virgo some of you just might have really strong calves when you wear from wearing high heels <laughs> i'm leaving this reading as you can tell i'm a little out of sync because i haven't been here since i think wednesday so um yeah give me a minute to get back here as we get back into these readings but i'm gonna end it there if you want to get a personal reading as always there's a link in the description box below just click that link and that will take you to my booking site definitely smash that like button and please subscribe but i would rather you just hit the like button more than anything and i will see you guys back here tomorrow okay have a fantastic night love you all bye